Hello everybody, today is a very special day. Today is Piano Day. 88 days into the year 2023, so happy Piano Day everybody. And as a little special treat, uh, Spectrasonics released a lovely update to the Keyscape library. This update is a double felt grand piano and it sounds absolutely sublime. Um, all you need to do is go to spectrosonics.net and download the update, or better still, open up Omnisphere and click on the little update button. It will take you to a page where you can download it and install it. So let's see what it actually sounds like. Once you've downloaded the update and installed it, all you need to do is load up Omnisphere, click on the bit where it says directory, select Keyscape library, and then when it loads up, you get the LA Custom 7C grand at the top. Now double felt, you need to scroll down a little bit. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different settings for the double felt. And the double felt grand sounds like this. Absolutely sublime sounding.
So that's what the double felt sounds like. Absolutely sublime. Great for those ambient textures, cinematic, TV, film, a lot of sort of um, versatile instrument. This is, it can be used in lots of styles. Just wanted to quickly break in and show you something that I discovered with these is if we go into double felt grand, which is what we heard before. There is a lovely ambient keystroke sound that you hear when the hammer's hitting the felts. It's, it's, it's lovely. But if you actually just click on the X there and go into the effects section, nothing looks out of kilter until you click on A and you think, hang on, there's a different plugin there. I've not seen this one before. Before we start digging into this, I am not suggesting you go and use this in any of your other sounds because we, I don't know if this is going to stay or if it's going to go or if it's just purely just for this double felt and nothing else. It'll be a shame because there's some lovely things in here. All right, there's no presets, so you have to do your own. But um, you can shape your sound and use a, a, an API, Neve, Pultec. I assume this is to do with compression some kind um it could be microphones actually uh so interesting because way to enhance the sound and also eq it so let's just have a play turn the enhancement level up really hear the keys now. Very nice. And if we just load up that patch again, go back to there. If we look at the main interface, we do have the reverb that you can actually play with. So you've got the cathedral, you can change it to a lively room or super shimmer, warm chamber, um, expensive hall. Pair that to a lively room. A bit drier sounding. We'll just go back to a cathedral. Oh, this is how it rolls off there. So if you go into the tweak, you can actually change um, to go to mono. You can change the attack from natural to gentle to a very tight. So that's the attack of the key. So if I got natural feel now more gentle attack. That's a tighter attack on the um, velocity curves. So you can then go into pedal effects. Hear that? Like a hiss. And if I play a note, Your own little percussion there. And you can also set it so that damper pedal doesn't actually work anything above note F6 on the keyboard as well. There's all sorts of things you can do. You can change the octaves, change the velocity curve so you can sort of create your own velocity curve for it. And then the info which actually tells you what it's all about. So that is Keyscape. And as it's a free update to Keyscape library and just well no, no excuse download it it's free um even if this wasn't free and we had to pay a little bit for it i certainly would be doing because this is absolutely perfect for ambient music like i do a bit of electronica uh, cinematic soundtracks i can see it getting used in an awful lot of things that i compose so you'll be hearing more from it uh, coming, you know, in the coming videos and music that you hear, especially as there is an album coming out at the end of this month on the 31st of March. There will be a, a new album, Cosmic Voyager Volume 2, which is a follow-up, obviously, to Cosmic Voyager Volume 1. And you'll be able to listen to that on literally every single digital streaming platform you can think of. And of course, on my website, adrianearnshaw.com. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, please subscribe. It lets me know that 
you actually do like what I'm actually doing on this channel and that I'm heading in the right direction is what you want to see. And uh, ding that bell in the top corner there because then you'll get notified when the next video is actually up on the channel. So all it remains to say is happy piano day and carry on playing. See you in the next one.